Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So unfortunately, I have kind of discontinued the Hex Blaster at the moment. Um, I do need to get some crit items to get the character scaling into the higher tier maps. So I decided to reroll a new character while I accumulate those items and potentially go back and look at them at a, at a further date. Um, the character I'm playing is an Ali uh, Elementalist Golem build, but not to be confused, it is a pure physical Elementalist Golem build. Um, I decided to play Carrion Bol Golems mainly because I theorycrafted this build at League Start and it seemed really interesting. Um, the reason I'm going Fizz over Ellie is Fizz is just easier for me to play uh, and Ellie does require more uniques. So before I jump into a quick map, um, just to show you guys what I'm rocking, I only have one Primordial. I'll be trying to farm my Primordials later once I get a higher tier on the maps and I can favorite specific maps. Um, but otherwise, the most important thing is getting a decent Cluster Jewel. The most important thing to note is you want a Cluster Jewel between um, the item level of 50 and 67. So you can easily roll um, Renewal, which is Chance at Double Damage, and Rotten Claws, which is Chance at Impale. I believe my minions have 88% Chance to Impale right now. If I drop my Dread Banner, they go to 100. And then in my Medium Cluster, I'm running another Renewal with a Dread March. With that being said, I'm gonna go jump Get into this maps. Vienna Sausage Citadel. I think it's like a, I'm not sure what map here it is. Let's see. It is tier. I don't know, but it's 78, so that's okay for this character. Uh, I just dinged 20 on my golems, so we're currently running. Multi-strike, impale, brutality, damage on full life, melee physical, and carrion. Now, ideally, I don't want to use damage on full life, and I'd rather have another blue for feeding frenzy. Feeding frenzy is more of a support, but feeding frenzy would make them aggressive until I can get the primordial to make them more aggressive. Um, some other unique things is I'm using a ghastly theater since it dropped. It basically gives me a 1000 physical bubble. Uh, that pairs with Molten Shell to make a really nice physical layer. Also, because I'm running Flesh Stance instead of the blood or the uh, Blind Stance, Physical Aegis, as long as it's active, gives me an AoE Blind Aura, which makes it so mobs can't really hit me. Uh, this pairs super nicely, as we've had no deaths and I've run up to T16 maps already. Now, I do plan on switching this shield with a Life Gain on Block Shaper Shield when I'm around 6,000 life which will just come naturally as some of my gear doesn't have the highest life on it. All right, with that being said, let me go ahead and just jump into some maps. Oh boy, this is some lag, don't mind that. One really interesting thing about Elementalist is um, Elementalist doesn't actually even need Uberlap. If you look, I literally just have Leash of Primordial, Elemancer, and then Paragon of Calamity, which I picked up um, in my third lab. And you don't really get anything for Uberlap, um, which is kind of sad, but at the same time, just just being able to like make this build work off of three labs is actually crazy at how effective it is. Now, some future upgrades to come. Once I can complete an Anima Stone, an Anima Stone will give me plus one max Golem and will make it so if I'm using X amount of Primordials, I can get another Golem. So this would give me two extra Golems. So my Chaos Golem right now is giving me about 15% physical damage reduction. A Stone Golem would be like 400 life gain a second, which would be awesome for a not insanely high life build. Um, and then, of course, with the last golem, I would run another carrion. So it'd be four carrion golems with one stone and one chaos. If I happen to find a clay shaper, then I can also use a clay shaper, which would also be very, very beneficial. Uh, since my current minion weapon is just literally minions have increased damage and chance at double damage, and that's it and nothing else. I guess I should go kill the boss real fast. Also, uh, since my minions don't have aggressive AI, I've went ahead and allocated Second Wind on my Convocation, which also works for the Molten Shell, which keeps really good uptime on the downtime of Molten Shell, so it basically comes off cooldown quicker, and same thing with Convocation. You don't get the double charge on Convocation, but you still get the, uh, the cooldown recovery. I think I shall torture you this time. 
when I'm ready and not before. Oops, I fucked up there. Was I supposed to do that? This is where I'm supposed to do that. Okay. Put this down for regen for them. Regen! The thrill of victory shall forever be your prison. The single target just keeps scaling up and up and up and up and gets stronger and stronger. Now, the thing is, I care more about survivability with my build, which is why the goal is going to be like 7k life, uh, along with, you know, all the defenses I get naturally with my build being immune to the ailments, having very high physical mitigation, having great sustain, potentially in the future incorporating endurance charges. My minions also taunt quite frequently, Taunting makes it so enemies deal reduced damage to me um, because of the, the person who taunts basically doesn't get the DR, but the other people do. So that's all really good layers of mitigation um, for the Elemancer. And the reason why that's important is Pride has, I don't know how big of an area, I'm just going to assume it's not super big, but I can already tell by the flesh it's not that big of, a, of an area. And I need to stay really, really close to bosses like super tanky t16 metamorphs and you know i guess like awakeners not he's super telegraph so that's not hard but in general you need to be really close to whatever it is that you're fighting if you want your minions to be doing the maximum damage thus you need to be able to have a really tanky build and for that style i would prefer the max block life gain on block build um because that basically you, you're not going to be able to really see everything but you don't need to be able to see the block you just need to you just, you just gotta block, you know? You just gotta put that shield up in front and block. Oh, Infernal Mantle. Cool. Oh, that's good enough. In terms of my minions dying, uh, I did notice my zombies and my specters would die in high elemental maps, um, elemental damage. So for this, I made sure to come down here and path by Indomitable Army so I could pick up the minion elemental resistance here along with the physical damage reduction on both of these notables. Then uh, I went pretty far out of my way to get the Dread March uh, notable here, which gives an additional 10% physical damage reduction and gives Chaos Resist. I may in the future also try to get another medium cluster and branch out here so I can get another Renewal. Since Renewal is essentially a damage multiplier, I don't really think I can get something better than Renewal anywhere on the tree. Um, and then Dread March is just fantastic as it gives minion maximum life, which is okay. Minion movement speed's great. Chaos resist is great. And uh, additional physical damage reduction is great. Somehow my audio got super out of sync, so we're just going to activate and deactivate that. So as for the Anoint, what I plan on doing in the far, far, far end game is essentially removing uh, Fearsome, so all of this, removing Death Attunement, and just completely chopping off this part of my tree here. And from this part of my tree, I will instead come over here, grab this jewel socket, which gives armor scaling, which is at least decent for molten shell. Uh, and then I can branch out that way to the left. And with these remaining points, I can essentially open up another medium cluster and go for another renewal along with another dread march. And then I can annoy death attunement so I don't even have to worry about it. Also, I, in my journey trying to farm my Delirium Jewels, I managed to somehow acquire uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, because I have another one, uh, small life clusters. I don't even know if I'm going to end up using them, but I don't really have anywhere or any more usable life clusters around me. Everything is two-point traveling. I don't really know if there's a point in two-point traveling nodes when I can simply get the life nodes from the small clusters, and I can still roll the uh, maximum life and increase flask recovery. Flask recovery is not bad if I'm running a flask no or a, a life flask because eventually I'm gonna have to, rep well, eventually when I get a stone golem, I may replace the life flask, but for now it keeps me alive and it keeps the minions alive because it heals a decent amount. And I mean, I'm just spamming it because I don't really need it. It's mainly for the minions. Just to cover the rest of my links for you guys, uh, we've got Generosity with Dread Banner, 
along with Poacher's Mark I use on bossing and just an unlinked flame dash. Um, shield charge with Fortify. Now, I don't need faster attacks. It does feel better, but I dropped the faster attacks because I wanted to run a Feeding Frenzy. So I did Feeding Frenzy with my Golems because if I put Feeding Frenzy with my Zombies and Spectres, they're going to die because they're aggressive. Then for the shield, I've got Pride and a name linked with Flesh and Stone. Then um, for the current Anoint that I have, I do have Sacrifice. And if you want to play the build a little bit faster, you can simply grab Spiritual Command. It gives you a ton of attack speed scaling, or you could just use a faster attack, or you could just use both. But the thing is, is there's no reason for me to go zoom zoom if my minions aren't aggressive. I'm pretty much limited to the speed of, of my convocation until I get the minion aggression. And then with the minion aggression, then we can try doing some other stuff. And the last thing to bring up is the reasoning for everything. So. Um, just to talk about it, we have three specters. We have a monkey that you can find in Act 2, located, I believe, either Southern Forest or Old Fields. I have two monkeys. One gives Frenzy Charges, the other gives Power Charges. Then I have an Arena Master, which I believe uh, comes off of Drox the Conqueror. He basically slaps his shield in three, two, one... There it is. Which gives 20% increased damage, attack speed, cast speed, and movement speed. It's pretty decent. Um, it's not the best consistency, but it's pretty decent. He's just constantly spamming, and the guy literally never dies. In terms of where my golems have died, the only time my golems have died have been in two scenarios. I've had my golems die at the uh, Alzheimer guy, the guy who's pure chaos damage. But Dreadmarch, I did get some more chaos res, and you can consider anointing something like... Um, over here, Grave Intentions gives a lot of Chaos Res. The only thing is if you're using Brutality, then Don Holy Might doesn't do anything, so that kind of sucks. Um, and then on Super, I think there was like a multi-proj map on a, with a Diamond Shrine with like sub fizz mobs in a chain map. And then eventually like two of my Golems ended up dying from that. But really, they, I haven't had any trouble with them, which is awesome for the build. Um, yeah, we're looking on upgrading our gear. I mean, 50 life's not that good. This is 85 life with an Abyssal Socket. This one's pretty good. Um, then I've got a 49 life there that can go up. 47 life with Strength. 50 life, 52 life, uh, 31 life that can go up a ton. And then, of course, the weapon. There's a plus three physical weapon. Uh, plus three to, to all gems physical weapon, which would be really cool because that would scale... I don't know if it's only for summons or if it would literally scale everything, including Pride and... I think just pride name it would scale i don't know if that really matters anyway that's a pretty good one uh simply getting a clay shaper would give plus one golem which is really big right now that would be four carrion golems instead of three um trying to craft a convoking wand but i think i'm hiding it on my filter filters are confusing me because i enabled it like six times uh and then of course just at waddle temple at waddle temple can give you something like i have uh, and ideally I would want to craft a minion speed suffix, but I don't have that yet So I need to do more betrayal. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. That's all the information I could possibly give you guys um, Last thing to do is I'm hunting for a roomy so I can cap our block and spell block, but that's about it So hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves Remember if you like the video, please feel free to like share and subscribe and I can catch you guys streaming Oh, no, I just said that and I'll catch you guys all tomorrow. That's pretty much what I meant to say. Have a good one everybody when I'm ready and not before.